Hey everybody, welcome to the XFA Fitness Channel. My name is Jeff Hirsch and I'm back as your trainer today. If you're not already a subscriber, please go ahead and subscribe down below. Hit that notification bell. You'll get notified every single time we have a new workout for you. And the more subscribers we get, the more we know you like what's going on here and the more stuff we're going to be able to bring you, okay? And if you uh, are ready for us and you haven't checked us out on ripdism.com yet, head over there, check out all the programs we have, check out the diet, check out the nutritional training, check out everything we have over there to get in the best shape of your life in the privacy of your own home, okay? Great stuff over there, so don't miss out on that. Uh, today's workout is going to be a little longer than we normally do. It's going to be around 40, 45 minutes. I've got seven different complexes, okay? So these are moves that require more than one you know, type of movement uh, normally. So you'll have, that's why it's called a complex. We're gonna be building stuff and building stuff into one solid thing. Each interval is gonna be two minutes long. We'll get a one minute rest in between each interval. So it's gonna be a nice long workout, longer intervals, uh, longer periods of rest. Uh, I'll show you how to do each move before we do it, no problem. Let's talk about equipment for today, all right? Uh, what I have here is some dumbbells and a kettlebell. You don't really need a kettlebell. All you really need is, you know, two dumbbells for this. If you don't have a dumbbell, you can get some like water jug, soup cans, whatever you need. I've got two 20 pounders here, a 45 pound, pound kettlebell, and I've got a single uh, dumbbell here. This one is to show you what you can do if you don't have a kettlebell. Or right, if you have these long type dumbbells at home with these round heads on, this, on the back, whether they're fixed or adjustable, it doesn't really matter. Uh, so if you have your kettlebell, obviously you're gonna be swinging through the kettlebell like this. Again, this is about a 45 pounder. You know, it doesn't really matter exactly what weight you have, you can push it and uh, get to work at it. It's gonna be two minutes long, so it's a long time period. All right, if you don't have that, you can grab the end of one of these dumbbells, the round head of one of these dumbbells, and you can basically do that same movement, swinging it through. It's all forced through the hips, all right? And you're just using your arms as a pendulum for that weight, all right? So if you only have one of these guys, no problem if you don't have a kettlebell. Uh, and then on these, I've got two 20-pounders here. Again, that's also a 20-pounder. So, um, you know, we're gonna be doing some curling today shoulder presses, rows, etc. So grab your weights, whatever you might have. If you don't have dumbbells, again, you know, like professional gym equipment or whatever it is, load up a couple of gallon water jugs, okay? Load up some bags with some soup cans. You can get some weight with whatever you need, all right? Um, luckily, the equipment shortage that was so prevalent in the past year seems to be gone and you seem to be able to buy equipment again. So if you need some equipment, go out and grab it and we'll get going on this stuff, all right? So we're gonna have fun today. Uh, let me show you the first move before I hit my timer because we're gonna jump right into it. The first move, again, this is two minutes, okay? And these are complexes. So we're gonna do a side hop, hop to the side, outer arm goes down. So in this case, I jump left, so my left arm's going down. Back into a single arm burpee, okay? If you can't do a single arm burpee, fine. Put both down, because we're gonna do that anyway. We're gonna put both arms down. We're gonna walk back to where we started in plank. Then we're gonna walk back Again, to where we landed, jump up, we'll hit the other side, outer arm goes down, plank out, walk, right? Walk back, pop up, and repeat. So we got that for two full minutes. You can see it there. I'll try to put a timer on the screen for you as well. I'm gonna start, let's get going. All right, guys, here we go. Ready, three, get in position, two, one. We're gonna jump left, jumping left, arm goes down, pop it out. Plank walk, good, right? Plank walk back, pop it up. Now let's jump right, jump right. Single arm burpee. Plank walk over to the left, all right? Plank walk back over to the right. Good, pop it up, over to the left, good. So here we're working full body. We got everything going here. Core is involved, chest, shoulders, legs, triceps. So getting a full body blast in right here with no equipment, right up the bat. A big two minute complex move, good. Down, walk it over, good. Walk it back, keep going. Pop it up, jump it over to the right, good. Down, come on. Bring it back, jump it up, over, good. A little over halfway through. First move, you're starting to feel it now. Good, we got seven total complexes like this today. We're gonna repeat them. That's 14 total for the day. You do the math on that one. All right, nice. Walk it over. Walk it back. Good. Up. 
Up. At any point you need that break, go ahead and take it. All right. I know two minutes is a long time, but I want you to come right back in. Finish up strong. Come on. We've got about 20 seconds here. And we got a nice one minute break. Good. Jump it over. Finish it out here strong. Let's go. Pop it up. Jump it over. Three, two, time. All right, one minute break. Great way to start it out. You guys did great in that first round. Only 13 more of those to go. So we got a long road ahead of us, but we're gonna conquer it. Let me give you the next move. Go to my cheat sheet. Okay, we're gonna use our dumbbells. We're gonna be doing a row to a hammer curl, shoulder press, tricep extension. So let's do two each, ready? So two rows, pop it up. Two hammer curls, two shoulder presses, two tricep extensions, okay? Two minutes like that. We're gonna move pretty quickly here, but we wanna have control, we wanna stay safe, and we wanna focus on the muscle. We don't wanna just fly through it for the sake of flying through it, okay? You can see my heart rate's already up. We're going in about five seconds. Let's get those weights ready, rows first. Three, two, one, here we go. Let's row it out. Row, row. Stand it up, hammer, hammer. Ready? Shoulder press, shoulder press. Bring it up, overhead tricep extension. Good. Back down to the row, row, row. Stand it up, hammer, hammer. Up, inward press. Good. Up and tricep extension, tricep extension. We're burning yet? Come on, feel it. Bring it up, keep those elbows locked into the side as you curl. Straight into that press. Good. Up, tricep extension. We're getting a full upper body workout here, all right? We just blasted the chest and shoulders, you know, along with our core. And that last move, and now we're gonna hit the other parts. Good. Row, row. Come on, stand up. Curl, curl, press. Press, we're halfway through. Good. Come on down. You should be starting to feel that burn now. If not, I want you to heavy up the weight a little bit. Okay, grab the next set of dumbbells. Go up four or five pounds on this thing. Good. I'm feeling it. I want to get through. Just like you. All right, we're working together all the way to the end. Press. Press. Extension. Extension. Come on down. Let's go. Row. Row. Hammer. Hammer. Press. Press. Extension. Extension. Good, let's go for one more round here. Row. Row. Up. Hammer curl. Shoulder press. Tricep extension. Come on. Down. Three, two, one. Let's set it down. Good job. All right, complex two down. I'm going to grab a little sip of water here. I suggest you do the same. Hydrate. Way to go. All right, this is gonna be brutal. Brutal. You guys ready for this? Tuck jump, X jump. I want you up and down your knees. So we're down, touch the ground. Tuck jump, down, touch the ground. X jump, go down, go down, come up, come up, repeat. All right, 30 more seconds in our break roughly here. This is a lot of work to do for two minutes, okay? You can have a very high heart rate when this is done. Back to back move is very difficult. So let's pace ourselves and get that nice, even burn that entire two minutes. All right, come on, 10 seconds. We're going, we're going. Get ready for this. Psych yourself up. You can do it. Let's go. Four, three, two, one. Ready? Touch that ground. Tuck jump. Touch the ground. X jump. Down on those knees. Back up again. All right? So. These are two extremely difficult plyometric moves back to back, all right? And then we're focusing on that leg strength and stability as we go down and up as we walk it. Good. 
I'm already feeling it. How about you at home? Are you staying with me? Okay. If you need to take a break or you don't feel like jumping anymore, I want you to step. All right, let's do a step. I'll show you guys at home. Ready? You're burned out already? I want you up, up, step it out, step it out, down, up. All right, and when you're ready, back to the jump. All right, just don't stop moving for me here, okay? That's it. Jump, jump, down. We're halfway through. Come on up. Jump, jump, down, down, up. Good. Power, X, walk it out, up and down. Way to go. Jump, jump, down, down, up, up. Whoa, almost hit the X too soon. <laughs> I'm flying, I was almost taking off in the wrong direction. Here we go. Jump, X, down. I like you're tired now, how about yours? Feeling that burn. <laughs> That's the whole point of this. Work it, work it hard, see those results. Come on. You got 10 seconds in you, I know you do. That's all we got left. Power jump, X jump, step, step, one, break. One minute. Well, I'm up high there, 150. Good, on the heart rate, let's bring it back down. Grab a little more water here. This next move is not getting any easier. I'm sandwiching all the brutal stuff right in the middle. Now, we're gonna do a scissor jump, and then we're gonna do a plank spider step, all right? So, the scissor jump is like so. Hands on the ground, scissor your feet back and forth in the air. It's your crossover, all right? If you can't cross, just do the jump, all right? Over time. You'll be comfortable crossing. Then I want you down into plank. Then we're gonna step, step, alternate spider step. Come back up, we'll do the jump again. Two more minutes of work. Who's ready? I'm ready. Starting to sweat through this shirt pretty badly already. We're going in about five seconds. Let's go. Three, two, one. Here we go, down. Scissor jump. Okay, back into plank. Step it up, step it up. Good, hop up. Scissor jump. Pop in a plank, step, step, pop it up. Scissor jump, back in a plank, step, good. So we're using our core here on all these jumps and all these plank moves. And as we're stepping up, I want you to focus on those obliques on the side and you'll feel the burn there, okay? You're getting a lot of core work in here, doing plyometrics, you can really feel that core burning be sore the next day if you're not used to doing these kinds of moves. So stick with me here. We're going strong. We're approaching that halfway point of this move. Good. And if you're going like right now, like wow, it's my first time to work out with you guys and this is tough. We have stuff that's even tougher than this. All right. So welcome to the madness. Stick with us and get in the best shape of your life right here on this channel and on ripdism.com. Good. Keep going. Hop it up. Scissor jump. There we go. Good. Good. We're under 30 seconds remaining. You can do this. Keep pushing. We're moving in a nice steady pace here, we're in control. We're not flying too fast. We're burning out in 30 seconds here. Okay, good. You guys can do this, you got it. 10 more seconds. Whew. Five, four, three, two, one. There's our rest. Way to go, way to work. If you stuck with us for that entire sequence, Awesome work. I know that was a hard one to follow up with the moves we just did. Dripping sweat right now, dripping. It's a little, it's a little humid in here, thanks to the old hurricane out there, but uh, you know, still very, 
Very sweaty today, very sweaty. Okay, next thing we have, a little sip of water side to side. Some people call them stance jacks, you call them cross jacks. We're not bringing our hands up, so we're gonna go side jump, something like a shuffle jump, and you reach across. Okay, side jump, you reach and touch across. Go right after those obliques again. Sticking with the plyometrics here, let's go. Who's ready? Starting right, jumping left. Three, two, one, let's go. Jump, touch, jump, touch. Now just don't go down and touch, okay? What I want you to do is squeeze the oblique on the side you're reaching to, and you're really gonna feel it. Try to keep that back nice and flat as you go down. I don't wanna see you bent over like this. Okay, this is no good. I want those knees bent, back flat. Touching all the way to the side. Good. So side to side, you can notice I'm meeting my feet right in the middle there. Okay? Little heel kick in the middle. Good steady pace here. Because we gotta last for two full minutes. How are you doing at home? You sticking with me? I know you are. If you wanna stop for one breath or two, okay. But come right back in. We got two minutes of work, so I want you to get the most you can out of those two minutes. We're halfway through already. Come on. This workout's gonna be over before you know it. Now these are seven difficult sequences, back to back to back. I know you're feeling it. This is not easy by any means, but it's not supposed to be easy. Not meant to be easy. It's meant to get you in shape. All right. Whew. Good. We're still working here. We got under 30 seconds. Finish up. Who's with me? Nice and tall as you come across. Okay, head up and then bend those knees and come down. Good. Ten more seconds. You can do it. Whew. Four, three, two, time. Way to go. Wow. Feeling it. That was a tough one. Just that side to side work. Oh, police are gonna be nice and sculpt and sore tomorrow, okay? Good, I'm hanging out by my water over here. We're gonna do a squat, step out curl. I'll demonstrate. Have a little water. All right? Grab your dumbbell. I'll use, I'll use this guy right here. All right, whatever you got at home, fine. So we're gonna start here. Step out, back, the right leg, squat down, curl up, come back up, left leg steps back and out, and you curl up. That's just pivoting on that front foot. All right? Gonna give those plyometrics a little bit of a break here. Work on some isometric holds and some arm and shoulder strength. Let's go. Dumbbells up, three, two, one. So I'm stepping back with my right foot, down into the squat, keeping those elbows locked in, curling, coming back up, feet on the other side, go. Good. Now if you don't feel this in the curl at all, you can step up your weight, okay? You're using both arms here, so you might be able to go 30, 40 pounds in this. I got a 20, that's what I'm demonstrating with, but we do have two full minutes, so. I'll see how I feel at the end of those two minutes. Maybe next time, pull up my weight if I feel like I have a little bit left. But if you're focusing and you're squeezing those biceps every single time, there's no reason that a light weight can't burn it out for you by the end of this two minute round, okay? I'm not even at a minute yet and I'm already starting to feel the burn, so I think I picked the right weight. Good. Whew. Nice. Hmm. That's it. You know, I've been away for a couple of weeks. I was on vacation and I had my birthday. So we're kind of, you know, playing hooky from real life for a while. Still getting all my workouts in, but sometimes you just gotta take a little break and recharge. And now I'm back with a bench. Okay, cool. Keep going. I just hit my, my number, 48. 
So you see me here doing this, okay? There's no excuses. You can do it too. Doesn't matter how old you are. I want you in the game. I want you working hard. You're only as young as your body feels. And doing this stuff is gonna keep you nice and young, nice and strong, flexible for everything that life's gonna bring at you. Good, 10 more seconds, let's finish it out. Legs are burning, arms are burning. Four, three, two, one. There's our time. Whew. Nice work, all right. We're up to move seven of our seven move complex, all right? So I'm gonna grab my kettlebell here. Again, you can use your dumbbell if you don't have a kettle. And what we're gonna do is, we're gonna get in a plank, and we're gonna do an in and out abs. So one, two, eight like that, okay? Then we'll pop up, and we're gonna do eight kettle swings. Good, all right? No need to rush through this or rush your transition. I want you getting up comfortably, switching over to that kettle, a dumbbell swing. All right, no need to try to go as fast as you can because the work's gonna be there at the end of these two minutes. No, no doubt about it. Let's go. We're under 10 seconds, about five seconds left in our break. Let's get into plank position. Three, two, one. So we're in and out, plank abs. There's three, four, five, six, seven, eight, we're up. Okay, transition, get into position. Kettlebell up, and one. That's it. Both of these moves are working your core like you wouldn't believe, all right? If you're doing them properly, it's like doing an ab workout with cardio. Beautiful. One, two, three, four, come on. Six, seven, eight. And if you're not exactly with me, that's all right. You count to yourself, all right? You do what you have to do. You get eight and eight for two minutes. That's it. Come on. Nice work. We're about halfway through here. Let's keep going. Ready? And one, two, three for me. Four, five, six. Try to bring those feet as close as I can to my hands. Let's kettle it out. And one, swing in and push in with the hips only. Right? That's forcing that kettlebell up, not your arms. That's it. Good. Back down in the plank. Eight in and out. Let's go. Nice. Let's go for that one last round here, kettles. See what we can get. And one, two, three, four. Nice drive to the hips. That's it. Place that down. Three, two, one. All right. That's it. We are through our first seven moves. Taking a knee, getting some water. I recommend you recover however you need to. Grab a sip. We're going back to the top. Repeat those same complexes over again. Going to that side hop. Single arm burpee. Double arm if you need it. Okay. We'll walk back. Plank walk. Back and forth, get up, and we're gonna jump the other way. Two minutes, right? No time to stop now. Now is the time to pick it up and push hard for the last part of this workout. All right, we're about uh, 27 minutes in or so, roughly. All right. So, here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna give it our all, give it our best, and fly through it. All right, let's go three, two, one. Side hop, single arm burpee. Walk it out, walk it out. Good, hop it up, jump to the other side. Other arm goes down, plank burpee. One arm or two. Okay, I prefer that one. We work on that core strength and that shoulder strength even more. You can do it, good. 
and you know, you can get your feet wide as you jump back. That'll help you stay stable on that single arm burpee. You're having difficulty, okay? So here, plank out, you know, feet are pretty wide there. And we're gonna walk across, walk across. Good. Jump it up. Jump it on the right. Yeah. Walk it out. Walk it out. Hop it up. Come on. Back. So you see me here, 48, doing this stuff. All right. So, again, I don't care how old you are. I don't care if you're 18, if you're 30, if you're 50, if you're 60. You do what you can do and you get in here. All right. The odds are I'm probably not moving as fast as I did when I was 20, but. I'm still working, I'm still going, I'm still pushing, doesn't matter. Maybe I am working that hard. Maybe I'm working even harder now, who knows? <laughs> 20 years is a long time. 20 years old for me was a long time ago. Don't recall all of that. Come on, you got about 15 more seconds here. Finish it up. Walking and plank, popping up. Jump it, down, five, four, three, two. Wow, there's our two minute timer. Uh, way to go. Let's cross this one off here. Significant here. Good, bye bye. Now we got our ladder, our dumbbell ladder. Row, curl, press, extension, tricep. Again, two times each. So, row, stand up, elbows in, curl, inward press, and then overhead triceps. Good. Get your weights ready. Get your mind ready. Get your heart ready. We can do this. We're going in about 10 seconds. I'm gonna grab my equipment. Get what you need at home. Good. Five seconds. Let's stand a little sideways here for you. Let's go. Row. Row. Bring it up. Hammer curl. Press. I'm gonna put that foot in front a little bit of the other foot just for a little bit of back stability there, okay? You don't have to do that. That's just something I like to do. You don't have to. Okay, up. Curl. Curl, we can do it without it. Ready? Press. Press. And then. Extension, extension. All right, try to keep those elbows in on that extension if you can. Up, rowing, curling, all right? Pressing and extending. Good, back to the row. Way to go, everybody. You're doing a great job. Way to stick with it. Way to build that strength in your body. Build that stamina. Stay young forever. Okay, that's what we're all about here. You just might happen to look good doing this stuff too when you're all done with it. That's one of the benefits. You eat right, you exercise like this, you're gonna be in shape, you're gonna get ripped. No question about it. All right? Row, row, curl, curl, press, press, extension. Two times. Here we go. 40 more seconds to go. Are we burning yet? I know I'm feeling it. Bang, bang. Back down safely, start it all over. Keep that back nice and flat. Squeeze every single muscle group you're working. Focus on it. Don't just throw these weights around arbitrarily. Ah, good. You got 10 more seconds in you? Let's finish it out strong. Up, up, pressing, and our extension. Perfect time, finish it up. Good, Whew. all right, we're done with those. Round two, excellent work, crossing that one off. All right, now we have our brutal sequence here. Again, we're gonna try and go for the full two, full two minutes. If you can't do the full two, do what you can do and take your break, all right? I might need a break on this one too, we'll see. 
grab that water, hydrate now before the exercise. It's important, okay? And you don't want to wait till the end of the workout. You drink your water, you want to drink it throughout. Keep that hydration level up, that'll keep the energy going. All right, tuck jump, X jump, up and down. So we're doing the tuck jump, then the scissor jump, and then we're up and down on the walk on the knees, all right? That little walk on the knees just gives you a little bit of a break, a hard to time to recover those two brutal moves that are coming up back to back, but it's also focusing on your core and your stability and your legs as you're doing that, all right? Let's go, three, two, one, touch the ground, tuck jump, touch the ground again, X jump, and walk it out. Good, down, jump, jump. I'm gonna show you what I don't want you to do, which is I don't want you coming up, touching the ground, coming here, and then jumping, okay? Let's keep going here. You guys are probably in the X. I'm gonna do the step. What I want you to do is touch the ground, jump from down low, then the X, and then the walk. Okay, so jump from down here. Boom, boom. Right, you're exploding all the way from the bottom. Good. That's gonna ensure you're working that muscle group the full range. It's also gonna allow you to get a lot higher too. Okay, you can jump a lot higher if you jump from down low instead of jumping from up high. Good. All right, I'm trying not to fly out of the camera frame here. I have a limited space to work with here. But I'm going as high as I can go, all right? Nice. Keep going, we're over halfway through this move. Whew. Nice. Boy, this floor is gonna need a good cleaning when I'm done here today. That's for sure. Whew. Up, 30 more seconds, come on. Push it out. I know you're tired. I know those legs are burning right now. Pick it up, tuck jump, X jump, step walk. Hang, hang, up, up, jump, jump. And again, you know the modification. I showed it to you in the first round. If you need to go there, do it. Up, up, down. That'll be a three, two, one. Woo. There's our break. Nice one minute relaxation here. I'm up 156 right now. That's a good range for me. Could definitely go higher. You know, get up in the 160s, 170s, but you know, still be safe. But the thing is, I know I got two more rounds coming up, so I don't want to blow myself out to the point where I can only work out for like eight or 10 minutes, and then I'm shot, right? I'm working on endurance here. You crawl over to my sheet, cross this off, Another hard move coming up. Grab that water. Get the scissor jump. All right, plank. So you're doing that jump. All right, then we're going down, step up, either side of plank. On that 10 more seconds, get yourself ready. Let's do this. Come on. Five more seconds in our break. Four, three, two minutes of work. Let's go. Down low, scissor jump. Back in a plank, step up, back, other side steps up, jump it up, jump it out again. Good. Bam. All right. Good. Jump up, let's stay low, then hit our scissor jump. Good. Back in a plank. We might have missed that on the first round, that's okay. We're here, stay low, jump again from the bottom, hands on the ground. All right. That's gonna make it more difficult. We're breaking up. Difficult, bringing up the difficulty for round two here. Okay, that's it. Hop it up, boom. Back down, step it up, step it up. Good, that's it. I'm trying to focus now, get my energy, stay stable. I want to be able to coach you guys solidly through the rest of this workout. So even sometimes I need a break mentally. I am going into my zone and I'm thinking about getting through this next 45 seconds that we have left. Good. Ah, scissor jump. 
back, plank, sorry, spider walk, spider step walk, up, here we are, you got 30 seconds left in you, come on, Whew. things are flying out of me right now, a lot of toxins that don't need to be in my body are all leaving right now, to this beautiful sweat, pool we're great right here on the floor, good, ah, five, 10 seconds. Three, I'm clipped, clipped out. That's it, we're at a break. All right, cross it off. Feels so good to cross it off. Bye bye. Not getting any easier. Stance shack, side to side. For that cross reach for those obliques, all right? Ooh, get that heart rate back down again. I'm still up at 160. So, I need to come down a little bit. I only have 20 seconds of work. I have rest left. Grab my water. Sorry, we got about 30 seconds of rest left, okay? So that timer counting, I thought it was going down, but it's going up. Yeah, now we got about 20 seconds left. Good. Let's get ready. So we're doing those stance jacks again. We're jumping across, heel to heel in the middle. You reach across. Same thing coming back. You guys ready for this? Let's go. Starting right, jumping left. Three, two, one. Let's go. Jump it across. Reach. Jump it across. Flat back. Knees bent. That's it. Boom. Nice and controlled, but with purpose. Okay. We're not going too slowly here. Jump, shuffle across. Reach down. That's it. Come on. We got body weight training here. We got weighted training. We got everything for you, all right? That's what we do in all of our programs. We mix it up, all right? We'll give you a little rundown of riptism here. If you're not familiar with it, you know, go on the website, you'll see all the programs and this free intro workout on there. You get a three day trial for free to try out what you want to do, all right? We got an app so you can use your phone, your tablet, you can do it on your computer, and then you can airplay it or stream it to your big screen TV if you want. It's all built in, ready to go. All right, Riptism One has three separate tiers. All right, so you get all new workouts every three weeks. Riptism Two, we're doing all kinds of mixed up stuff. So every week changes something different. Riptism Raw, body weight only training. Okay, Riptism Combine. Metabolic conditioning, doing all kinds of sports training and movements to make you better athletically, all right? So you run through that gamut and you will never be the same. You'll be the fittest person you've ever been in your life. Good, and after all that talk, we only got 15 seconds left in this move. Good, 10 more, come on. That's it. Three, two, one time. All right. My watch is telling me I've done a lot of work today, which is good. Let's cross that off. Now, going back to some weighted moves. We've got the squat step out curl. A little more water here. I've been trying to ration this water. It's about a 16 ounce cup. Every couple of minutes, 50 ounces, okay? Ooh. That's it. But if you need more, hit pause. Go grab more water, all right? That's the beauty of this stuff. You can hit pause anytime you want to. Come back when you're ready. If you feel like you need a longer break than one minute, all right, take an extra 20, 30 seconds. If you have to, not too long. I don't want that heart rate coming down too much. You pop it right back up and get in it. All right, we're going in about 10 seconds. We're stepping out, curling, coming back up, and then doing the other leg. Let's go, who's ready? Let's finish that, we got two complexes left. Come on now, three, two, one. Step it back, squat, curl it up, come up, other side. That's it. I'm only going a little bit of an angle here so you can see, you know, stay nice and low, hopping up. You know, step back as far as you can. If you wanna go 180, you know, all the way back, that's fine. If your flexibility, your range only allows you to go, you know, 
so far, that's it, do what you can do. All right, just make sure you keep those elbows locked into those knees or inside of those thighs there. I want you to curl them, right? That's it. Keeping them locked in, that's gonna focus. Make sure you're really using the biceps, not cheating too much with the show front shoulder on this, okay? Good. Very nice work. Come on. You can do this, you can do anything you set your mind to. I don't care how much it burns, you finish this out. Alrighty? Nice work. Ah. We're over halfway done here, okay? Way to go. Now you might notice in this workout, we didn't really have a warm up. That's because this workout, you know, that first move, you're already warming up into it. You know, that plyometric stuff, you get right into it. All right? You might want to pause and do a little stretch before. That's fine. But with that, you know, these are like body weight moves. You're kind of warming up into it anyway. But we'll do a cool down though, don't worry about that. Ah. Ooh. Good. 15 more seconds, you can do this. Push it. Everything's on fire right now, I know that. Whew. Five, four, three, two, one, time. Wow. That lower body's on fire, arms are burning right now. I'm gonna bend over, gather my energy back up. I got that last complex coming up. This is it. We've made it to 14. Let's cross out that one. Now we've got our eight in out plank, okay? The core cardio move. Jumping up, eight kettle swings. Again, another core cardio move, right? One's laying down, or only one's, sorry, in plank, and one's standing up, all right? Working, accomplishing the same thing in different positions. All right, let's get our kettlebell here, or you're using your dumbbell whatever you need to do. To get myself in a plank. Let's go, finish it out strong here. This is it. Four, three, two, one, let's go. In, out, eight times. And six with me. Hop it up with control. Kettlebell starts on the ground. Hop it up, swing, let's go. One, two, three, Four. And with that kettlebell out in front of you, and you start, okay? So when you pick it up, it naturally is swinging back so you can pendulum right back up again. Back down into plank, go. Six, seven, eight, up. All right, kettlebell right out in front of me, start it. One. Kick with the hips, two, three, four, five, good, six, seven, eight, good, halfway through, let's pop back down, come on, one, two, three, don't give up on me now, come on, less than a minute to go, less than a minute, let's pop Two, three, four, five, six. I'll try for one more round. See if I can get it in. Let's go. Down in the plank. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Pop it up. Get into position. And eight, seven, six. Five, four, three, two, one. Good, set that down. A couple of seconds left, back in the plank. Three, two, one. All right, I got one jump in. That's it. Let's take our one minute recovery here. One minute recovery. Get that heart rate back down. You can stand up. You can go to your knees. You can lay on the floor. You can do whatever you need to do in this last minute of recovery, all right? And then we're gonna cool down. Wow, I'm up there, I'm still 156. 
I want to get down, try 130 or so before I start to stretch. Oh. Okay, just breathe in and out. You can shake a little bit. A little free cool down here. All right, so we're pretty damn warmed up right now. Not gonna get much more warm than this. All right, good, I'm down 138. So on a safe zone now. Cool down. 10 more seconds. All right, we're gonna start that cool down. Five, four. All right, let's go down into sumo squat position. Just opening up that lower back right now. Good. Open up those glutes. We went after them. Side to side rock here. Side to side. Good. Nice work. Good. Take that left leg. Stick it out. Keep the right leg bent. Just work on that hamstring right now. Good. Other side. Switch it. Bend that left. Right toes straight up in the air. Okay. Working here on the groin area. You don't want to overstretch this. You just want to feel it. All right. Good. Stay down here. Left arm on the ground. Right arm goes up. Opening up the lower back and the shoulders here. Good. Same thing, right hand down, left hand up. Nice work. All right. Let's go down on our knees. All right. Now we're just going to kind of sit back a little bit, top of our heels here if you can. All right. The idea here is you want to sit back, kind of lean back a little bit. All right. Really stretch out your shins in front of the leg and then your quads here. Open up the lead knees a little bit. You don't want to go too far here. You don't want to overextend anything. Good. Nice. Let's go into a nice low plank here. All right. And then down on the ground. Low cobra. Open up the core a little bit here. And just breathe. Staring at a ton of rain coming down right now. Looks like about five, six inches of rain today. So a little wet and wild out there. Yeah, we're getting wet and wild in here too. We're dripping and we went crazy. Good. Climb back up. All right. Let's get up, up on our feet. Circle the arms forward with the shoulders. Just warm those up. Stretch them out here. Post workout. Cool down. Warm it up. Cool them down. All right. Hug it out. Nice. Pull that left arm across. Stretch out that shoulder. Wiggle those fingers. Good. Same thing, other side. Nice work. Now grasp behind you, hold down. Shoulders really are involved in just about everything today, you know. So you really want to stretch those out, it's important. Good. And while your hands are behind your neck, just kind of look down and go a little side to side with the neck here. Stretch that out, open it up. Good. Now hands up and down. Open up the chest. Another front part of the shoulders. Good. Hands up. Come down wide. Good. Let's do it again. Up. Hands up. Come down wide, very nice, all the way down, good. Now just bounce it out a little bit, shake those hands. You guys did such an awesome job today. All right, you killed it in this really awesome, quick but effective workout. Well, not that quick, but you know, 40 minutes or so. It's not, well, not an hour, anyway. So you got in, you got out, get the whole body worked out. So if you wanna see more stuff like this, please comment, please subscribe, please let us know, and please visit riptism.com and get in the best shape of your life with us on there, okay? So thanks so much again, and I will see you guys very soon.